this is Avrami here and welcome to Stardew Valley. This is probably a completely different type of game on my channel because I've been trying to find different games to branch out so my channel wouldn't just be a solid like visual novel because I'm trying to branch out into new games and it's kind of late <laughs> to start something new on my channel since the new year is already gone. But this is Stardew Valley and I've read that it had many great reviews on it and I was kind of tempted to buy the game but I was like wait maybe there'll be a sale or something but then I couldn't wait any longer so I decided to pick up the game I've been playing for uh, I don't know how many hours already on Stardew Valley but let's say uh, I'm already in the fall on my one file which I will show you right here Right there, I'm already in the fall. But I'm going to start a whole new fresh little fresh section for recording the other files just to play around whenever I'm super bored or need something to to relax myself because the game is really relaxing honestly and it's very time consuming. You wouldn't even know how long you've been playing. I honestly didn't know I've played this game for so long in a day and I'm just constantly wanting to play even in my sleep even when I, before I go to sleep I'm like I want to play Stardew Valley. It's very... it's very bad. It's <laughs> an addicting game which is like Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing and it looks like Terraria. It looks like a bunch of games but it's just, it's just amazing. But, um, I haven't really thought of a farm name. I named my farm, my other file, Princess Farm. Uh, maybe I'll just name, name it that. As, no, you know what? This is called The Beautiful Farm. My favorite thing... Oh wait, first, I, I prefer dogs over cats, I'm sorry. And before I even start anything, to those that already watch other people's playthroughs, you're probably wondering why do I have a skirt? Because I've added mods in this game. I didn't know there were mods until I clicked like forum link. But there are mods and I've downloaded a couple. Um, I downloaded a dog covering. Which my dog. I, you know what? I'll tell you what it looks like when it comes. But this is one of the mods. It's for girls to have skirts. I also have another mod that I will show you guys in the future. And... This other mod that you guys will see pretty soon, which <laughs> it, it's it's in the process of working. Not everyone is finished, but I only download the downloaded the ones I actually like. And to make these this quicker, I already wrote all the information for all the clothes. Now, since this is a different type of game, I'm not quite sure how I will be actually editing this. So, I'm just gonna... whatever fits in 20 minutes will do before... maybe after then I will know how to set things up. This is zero. <coughs> A cute little pink shades of things. Uh, my favorite thing, I will put... And my other one, I put Tyler. <laughs> so I shall do the same here. My favorite thing is Tyler. Um, we're not going to skip the intro. I did skip the intro when I was playing. Because I already seen so many people do it. So I was like, I don't want to watch it again. But I'll, 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 I'll let you guys watch it. And for my very special granddaughter. Um Yes. I won't I want <laughs> I want you to have the sealed envelope. I guess I don't have to click. I should have probably played the intro earlier. 
on my own. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Or else you're just going to be impatient and be angry. Now listen close. <coughs> his arm wiggling, his, his fingers wiggling are weird. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Called adulthood. Because adulthood sucks. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. You see his little squiggly, squ a slime squiggle thing up there? <laughs> when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. See his fingers wiggling? I always thought that was weird. Now let Grandpa rest. Many years later, ever since Grandpa passed away, and we're in a cubicle that makes me feel like we're a slave. Joja. Smile, you're with Joja. And look at the cameras. Terminated. And there's Woody <laughs> licking his lips. And then there we are. I think we're shaking. And then there's a skeleton all the way in the right. What are what's wrong with us? We're like shaking so crazy. It's one o'clock. Oh, let's, let's click this beautiful envelope here. Dear Romy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy. Beautiful farm is located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you will honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Alright, Grandpa. Sure do. Sure will. Yeah. Let's go. To the beautiful farm. I bet it's like breathing in the air must be so soothing. <sighs> The only time I've actually been in, like, living in a farm is in Vietnam, and it's not really refreshing air because there's, like, cow poop everywhere. Well, not cow poop, ox poop, and pigs, and chickens. Stardew Valley. Off we go. Hello, you must be a Romy. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm is right over here if you'll follow me. What if I don't want to follow you? You're a stranger. Grandpa told me not to talk to strangers. <sighs> I didn't remember all this messiness when I... <sighs> this is beautiful farm. Totally doesn't not beautiful, <laughs> but we will sh make it beautiful. What's the matter? <laughs> sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And I need to cough real quick. And here we are, your new home. And I still need to cough. Ah, the new farmer. Grandpa said hi, Lewis. Mayor <coughs> Lewis. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Sorry, I'm coughing so much lately. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Bit book, big deal. <laughs> so you're moving into your grandpa gr grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> very rustic. <laughs> That's one way to put it. 
crusty might be a little more apt though. Rude. So rude, Robin. You know what? I'm not coming to you. <laughs> She's a carpenter. I'm not coming to her. No, I'm kidding. I need to. Don't listen to her, Romy. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you can buy one of her house her house upgrades. But I do need her house upgrades. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Alright. Yes, Louis? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have it to sell, just place it in this box over there that I'm pointing at. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Thanks, Mayor Louis. Uh, I'll need all the luck cleaning this up. Ooh, I forgot I get to have this little parsnip. The thing I messed up on, uh, you received 15 parsnip seeds. Here, a little, here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Something I messed up on when I started playing, I didn't really, um, I didn't really farm anything because I was too busy clearing out and I didn't realize it's better to like automatically start farming on day one but I did um, learn from that mistake and I found the best crops to grow for spring it's mostly potatoes and when the egg festival comes around you have to buy the strawberry seeds and then save it for next like the next year or else you're just you just wasted the strawberry seeds because I sure wasted mine. And then for summer the best is like blueberries, and then fall is cranberries. And then winter you can't obviously grow anything. So. <laughs> and then we can watch news every day. I tend to forget to watch the TV, which is pretty bad because sometimes the. There, there's good stuff on. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some extra cash while waiting on your first harvest. Thanks, sir. But for, for, for starters, let's actually clear out this. I just need a little plot. I don't even actually know how to lay out my farm yet. Even in the game I've been playing uh, off camera, I don't honestly don't know what layout I want at all. But let's take this tree deal. And we are. Uh, this game is based on energy, and once you hit, like. I tend to not try to go. To the hospital or else you have like a chunk of money taken away or whatever it hasn't happened to me yet because I tend to not want to do that so hopefully I don't in this series that would suck but everything you do costs energy except I believe um, like <coughs> cutting this grass right here 196 <coughs> excuse me Oh, well, I kind of hit that. Okay. Well, like, oh, see? Yeah. But I, I, you should save the grass, because eventually you're going to have a coop for chickens and stuff. And they need to eat hay. And a way to harvest hay is actually to just, what is this? Scythe the grass. Oh, wait. I can just already water these. This is just temporary. I, I really don't like this layout, but it's temporary because we have a lot of clearing out to do. And I hope I have some money for potatoes. Because I would like me some potatoes. And for the guy that I'm trying to get in this game, his name is Sebastian. I wish we could actually change their name, but... Uh, I don't feel like going into the coding and change it. Maybe I'll do it some other time if I feel 
not lazy, but I'm going after Sebastian because he reminds me of Tyler. Like, just the hello bulletin board. This calendar is really helpful. Tells you everybody's birthday, but I tend to not even <laughs> say happy birthday to the people. Oh, I should be talking to people too. Hi, Gus. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got Pierre. Pierre's got the good stuff. The good stuff, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Usually you can only talk to these people like two times. <laughs> which sucks, but as long as you keep on talking to them, eventually, like, you'll, you'll get a heart. And this is Marnie. Marnie looks like old person in her little pixel, but then when you see her picture, she doesn't look it. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you're, you're there. You just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. See, look, she looks like an old lady every time we see her. And this is the awesome backpack which we need to get. And this is Pierre, and I need to buy some, um, you know what? I can't even buy it because I need room. Um, one, two. Am I gonna be broke right here? I'm broke now. Great. I hope I didn't need money for anything else. <laughs> hey, it's Miss Romy, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, <coughs> ow, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. I guess you know, we're about to end the episode soon, so I guess I'm just going to end the episode once I actually finish this whole day off. Maybe I'll do it that way. Every every day, I'm not sure. I'll I'll figure something out. And I need to talk to this guy, and then you you'll see the mod in just about a quick second, right there. So Harvey's actually an old-looking man with glasses and a mustache, but I didn't really like that because he didn't because he's one of the bachelors, and he didn't really look like a guy anyone would go after looking that old. Unless you're into old men, then that's totally cool. I'm not judging. But I didn't really like it. It was not very flattering. So I, at the mod I put into the game, trying to talk here. I haven't talked in a while. Like the mod I put into the game changes the picture frame of the character, and because his is like completely different, the girl also changed his pixels. His little pixel that we see walking, and she had a version with glasses and without, and I prefer without. So this is what he looks like. He may look. A bit creepy too to the ones that preferred his original look but I did it but you know everyone's opinion is different it's a pleasure to meet you I'm Harvey the local doctor I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town it's rewarding work I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time thanks buddy but yeah, I've never been sitting here uh, really ill, so. <sighs> I really hate the in the introductions, because you don't, okay, you don't actually meet everyone all that once. You slowly. And this is Alex. He's kind of stuck up, so that's why I'm not going for him. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. <laughs> After I just like call him stuck up. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. All right, but I'm not gonna. And this is the cute little old people, the elderly. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I'm calling you Granny. I hope my voice doesn't sound terrible. I feel like something's stuck in it. Okay, had a clear. <laughs> And this is George. He is very wrinkly and old. And he likes leaks. And I, even though I know he likes leaks, I haven't ever given him one. Even though we can find one in the spring. I might give him one. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? My name's, name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. <laughs> See, he's not really nice at all. Not at all. Oh, wait. I was like, oh, new person. But that's Gus. We already seen him. Um, maybe let's go this way. 
I just gotta make sure I have energy to, to grow my potatoes. And to not forget, I have potatoes. This episode is gonna be a quite, maybe a little longer. But you know, it's the beginning of something new. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeology Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Of course, dude. And this, this reminds me a whole lot of Animal Crossing, when you had to help Blathers out at the museum, because he has nothing. And here is our blacksmith guy named Gilbert, right? Oh, Clint. Who's Gilbert? Why did I even think of Gilbert? Er, hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. And it is very expensive for his tools. Everything in this game is very expensive, which is very hard. <laughs> but up here, I hardly go in here, but up here is a Georgia Mart. Where we meet this stupid guy right here. Hello? Welcome to Georgia Mart. How are you? How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Georgia Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Georgia member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. I, you can actually become a member. Um, and Mayor Lewis promised us that if anyone else joined up, he'd let us turn that old community center into a Georgia warehouse. Isn't that wonderful? No. No, that is not wonderful. And up here is Shane, but we can't really talk to him since he's busy working. I thought he was one of the bachelors, but he's not. But he's he's quite rude, so. Oh, and over here is Pam. We didn't talk to her yet. And over there is Sam. Hey, kid. The name is Pam. Uh, don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. And she lives in a trailer. And here's Sam. He's also different. <laughs> Portrait. This one's cuter. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. He's pretty nice, too. If there was no Sebastian in this game, I would go for Sam, because he is pretty nice. Um, is there... I should never go up here a lot, actually. These are, like, the places I never touch. Which, I don't know why. And I should be going down to everyone else before I, you know what let's just go up here even though we can't talk to Sebastian I kind of know his schedule but I kind of don't oh there's Mario we could talk to Mario his stepsister oh aren't you the one who just moved in I'm Mario I've been looking forward to meeting you nice to meet you Mario is your dad over here or is he in the house Ooh. let's take this I, I really like how you can randomly find random objects in this game and just pick it up. I don't know if we can catch birds or anything yet. I haven't got that far in the game. Hey, Robin. Can I just talk to you? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. It is exhausting. And then you can, like, upgrade your house. I just recently got this in my game, and I'm already in fall. And I haven't even used the kitchen at all, actually. Um... Here's all these different uh, expansions. Uh, I have the silo. I haven't messed with the well. And I have the coop. But I didn't realize I can get. You can get a big coop once you like level up in farming. I didn't know that. And I made a small coop. It sucked. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter Maru? She's interested to meet you. Your daughter is quite weird. She, his daughter reminds me of um, Sarah. I think that's her name. Sarah from The Walking Dead Season 2. That's who she reminds me of. And right there is Sebastian. And I can't talk to him. I think around 3 or 3.30 he comes out of his room for lunch or whatever. Not quite sure, but we're, we're just gonna wait right here for him. Yep, see, three. Three hours. 
Blake. But he reminds me a whole lot of Tyler, right? Because I like his room design and he's quite mysterious. Hey, 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 hey. And he's, look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Yes, I did. I came to meet you one day. That's why I moved here. But it seems quite hard to like raise the hearts up because even if you give gifts it's not like an automatic heart you have to like constantly talk to them every day and then like don't forget to give them some gifts and I'm gonna collect this get, get, uh, inventory full you know what you know what what, what should I do I'll just do this thank you I'm so used to having a backpack which I think we're gonna try to work on that to get a backpack first. Um, who else have we not talked to? Uh, Abic oh, oh, there's more people down here. That'll be easier. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Alright. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, you must be a Romy, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs a general store here, and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. No, I haven't met her yet. But she is our rival, because she hangs out with Sebastian a whole lot, and she's very clingy to Sebastian, I find. <laughs> so, she's our rival. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. What did you imagine me? Ugly? Pretty? Average plane? I don't know that's it. It's a quiet the little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. I wonder what they all do, actually. And this is little Vincent. He's adorable. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks, Vincent. Thanks. Um, is anyone else around here? We are to talk to Maru. Is anyone home? No, no, not that I can see of. Um, there is another little girl, but I don't think she lives with them. We have, wait, it'll be better right here. Uh, introductions. Eight people left. And we haven't met Abigail. Elliot. Oh, Elliot's right there. So how's your first night in the old cottage? Grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. Elliot. Elliot, I changed his picture too, but I kind of don't like this one now that I see him more often, but we're not going to talk to him a whole lot. He's like a, he's like the roman, the romancer, I guess. He loves poems and everything, but I'm not too attracted to that. I'm more attracted to this. Sebastian. Obviously, because he reminds me of Tyler, so I'm gonna go for him and we're gonna make babies. I don't know how to make babies yet, so. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. By the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Maybe. Oh, let's go to the beach. And then we can actually. Ugh, I can't pick it up because I don't have a backpack. I have to keep reminding myself that we can't meet the fishermen yet until like whenever. So, and we can't meet the witch yet until we unlock something. Like, there's a lot of unlocking here in this game. So, we haven't met her, Leia, Haley, Abigail, I forgot her name, Penny or something. Uh, oh, the, the homeless guy. The witch, the little girl. We can't meet the the witch yet, or this guy until he gives us a little letter. But let's try to find the the girl, the girls, <laughs> since there's so many of them. Maybe they'll be at the saloon. I'm not trying to. I at least want to find those people because we can actually find them. Oh, whatever. There's one. It's like, did we already meet you? I'm not quite sure. We're gonna talk to you anyway. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You 
picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Thanks. Okay, we met her. Maybe Abby is in her house? Oh, there's Shane. Let's go. Shane, Shane, Shane. Hey, hey. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? See, he's quite rude. But we know you now. Oh, there she is. Everybody. This is so great. The first time I played this, no one was around. Hi. Oh, did you want something? I feel like she's one of the girls a lot of guys are going to go for. Because she's like, she seems really sweet, honestly. I could go for her if I wanted to, because there's no, oh, it has to be girl and guy. No, you can actually marry whoever the hell you want. That's that type of game. I need to meet this little girl. Homeless man is easy. Abby, are you in here? Abby? Don't tell me you're in your room because I can't go in there. She is in her room. Great, I can't go in there. <laughs> but we can at least meet... Um, wait, Haley, I feel like maybe she's home too. It is getting late. It's technically night time in this game at 6, but it doesn't get dark till 8 or something like that. Um, we can meet the homeless guy, though, which I keep forgetting his name. Which sucks, because... I, like, I unlocked the scene with him, and I was kind of rude about the... <laughs> Because the choices are just... There's not many choices to talk to the guy. Is he outside? Here? Hello? Oh, he's in here. <coughs> Linus! A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Alright. Well... We just need to meet Haley, Abby, and this little girl. I don't remember her name. But I guess I'll find them off camera or something. Or just find them on camera. I don't. I really don't know how to uh, split these episodes up. Since it's completely new and different. And I usually don't know how long one day lasts. I think it lasts 15 minutes. Oh crap. I should have cleared this section out. Alright, good thing I can walk through grass. Mmm. Where should I put my potatoes? And the latest you can actually stay out is two. And after two, you pass out. And then you get taken to the hospital. And we don't want that. Um, I guess... Oh, no, I don't want it that high. Totally, totally doing this correctly. Wait, what did I grow over there? I grew parsnips over there. I usually like to split up like vegetables and fruits, but I guess I'll do that later in the next season. Since oh not yeah next actually next season <laughs> since we only have to grow like. Is there anything we're gonna sell? Can I make anything? I need 50 wood. You know what? Let's just chop some trees down real quick. It's super dark. I'm so sorry. But I need I need wood. What's black in my way? I don't think I'm gonna get 50 out of this. Probably not. Getting exhausted. Oops, I didn't mean to. Okay. Oh, I actually did. Yay. I can build a chest. And I usually like to keep the chest inside the house. For now, at least. Put that down. And then we're going to need these things in the future. Especially for, uh, yes, let's go sleep. Especially for the community center. 
and it's a new day, but this is where I'm going to stop the, the episode since I think it went pretty long. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this is something you guys will be excited for. Uh, I really enjoy this game, so I hope you guys will too during our little adventure to make this farm actually beautiful because it's not looking beautiful right now. Oh, I didn't know that it happens. It happens. But once this, this game is quite interesting with the skills, the more you do a certain thing, you'll get a little like button every time and then these are like branching out to different things like for farming it's something with the animals and then uh, gatherer something and gatherer and I usually go for gatherer because I don't mess around with a whole lot of animals but that's something that's gonna happen in the future <sighs> there's there's a lot going on with this game so Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I will see you guys in the next one.